There aren't many cars as significant as the Ford Model T. At one point, they made up half the cars in the world, with one rolling off the production line every 10 seconds. They used to come in any colour you liked, as long as it was black, because that was the fastest drying paint. They did 45 miles an hour, 20 miles to the gallon, were simple, strong and could even drive through trees. Overall, nearly 17 million were made. Right, you got all that? Good. Now, if you were thinking, as I indeed was hoping, oh, come back foot, that meeting the world's biggest expert on Model Ts would involve a nice trip to Detroit, you'd be wrong. Apparently, he's around here. Somewhere. Because here, at the back of a muddy, windswept Buckinghamshire farm, lies not just a muddy, windswept Buckinghamshire farmer, but Neil Tuckett, an extraordinary enthusiast. He buys, sells, restores, repairs and collects them. No Nothing happens in the world of Model Ts without him knowing about it first. Rod, can you bring me another timer? So how do you, in the middle of England, come across all this Model T... I was going to call it junk, but uh, <laughs> spare parts? Uh, some of it was produced here because they had a big, big factory in Manchester, but um, the majority comes from America and people ring me up, fax me, email me, so the, the stuff finds me. I don't have to go and hunt it out particularly. And I round stuff up once a year in America, go over there and fill a container up and bring it back. If I was to buy a Model T off you, Neil, what sort of people would I be uh, ranking myself alongside? Who, who's, who's been here as well? I've got a sheikh uh, in Qatar who comes over regularly to buy Model Ts and uh, the owner of the racetrack in Malaysia, he came over and bought two. So yeah, you never know who's going to come in. Well, if they're good enough for Malaysian racetrack owners, they're good enough for any of us. Time to get to know the T a bit better. You could say that the Model T was the world's first multi-purpose vehicle. The chassis stay completely the same throughout production, but there were 17 different body styles, and you can find most of them right here in Neil's yard. Blimey, Neil, look at all these. You could spend hours looking around Neil's stock. He's got everything from unusual Model T tractors to desirable four-seaters, even charabangs that transported troops to the front. This wooden creation was a people carrier for the 1920s. Lose the seats and the roof, and it doubles as a flatbed pickup. This is one of the rarest, a right-hand drive town car worth £25,000. As time wore on, I felt I was becoming quite an expert and could value almost anything. This one looks like a cheap one, Neil. Why don't you uh, put it out of his misery? Look at it. This is one of my favourites. Um, the kids call this one rusty. I oh, know, it's rusty. It's a death trap. Yeah. No, it's not a death trap. It's MOT'd every year. I drive this for 1,000 miles have you, a year. Have you got a bit of a thing going on with a local MOT? No, no. He doesn't give me any favours. So, out of all these, this one is your yeah. favourite? I'll jump in this one every time. And this, and this was how much? I bought it in a sale looking derelict for 2,000... Hang on, Eugene, looking derelict. Look, for it, how much? It had £2,999. It had straw no, on the back, you didn't. chicken's nest, fag packets. And you paid... Three, yeah. three grand for it? No, 2,999. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you're a, you're a deal, <laughs> I can tell. Well, how much is it worth now, that, now that you've done it up? Well, I basically have just serviced it and put new tyres on it and I maintain it and I was offered £9,000 for it and turned it down. You should have bitten the hand off. No, no, I enjoy driving this car. Do you? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad to see you're into it, Neil. I really am. I'm just thinking of your car, Neil. Having established there was a T for all tastes, it was time to actually get to grips with the thing. Although that wasn't going to be quite as straightforward as I'd imagined. Right, Neil's given me the lowdown on how to drive this car, and we'll start with the accelerator, which is a lever up here, which is crackers. Down here, this is where it gets confusing. There's first gear down like that, and up into top. This middle one is reverse, and this one is brake. And apparently, if you get into problems, you just press all three at once. I've only got two feet. Anyway, it can't be that confusing to start it with this button down here. Come on! Yes, a natural. Off we go. Oh, more revs. Oh, what was <laughs> This 1925 Tourer is worth around £9,500. It's not exactly nippy, and I'm not totally convinced the steering's up to modern standards, but it does come with the desirable factory-fitted option of a windscreen wiper. i better slow down, because I don't trust myself or the steering. I'm actually coming to quite like the charms of the tea. I've got to watch out, we're picking up speed here. And there are plenty of people in the UK who are also into it. The problem is, there aren't enough youngsters 
getting into Model T's in order to perpetuate the legend. Which is where Ford's Build a Model T Challenge could come in. It celebrates Ford's centenary and Neil will sell you everything you need to build a winning car of your own. But if you're worried a normal T is a bit pedestrian, then get yourself a 90 mile an hour speedster version and scare yourself silly.